right, we're here in Southfield, Michigan, checking out this office building, which is Citizens Bank and Priority Health now. But back in the late 60s, this was building here, had a different logo on top that was red, white, and blue. I'm not sure when the logo was removed, but I do remember in 1989, I spent several weeks at a hotel just down the street from here, and the logo was definitely still in place then. But American Motors has a long history between it and its predecessors of Michigan business activity and commerce and some really cool cars. Many of the American Motors vehicles were built in Kenosha, Wisconsin, but here in Detroit, we have the AMC building, American Motors Corporation was formed in 1954. Calvinator Kaiser, Nash, Hudson, and Woolies Overland Jeep. They continued to produce home appliances, military equipment, 4x4 Jeep type vehicles, as well as postal Jeeps, and of course, multiple automobiles. This building has been extensively gutted by scrappers explored by multiple urban explorers with many videos available for you to check out on YouTube and is currently facing demolition as soon as this spring. But it is a beautiful old building with lots of very nice architectural accents. Here's a photo of former Michigan Governor George Romney and father of U.S. Senator Mitt Romney leaving the building. American Motors produced a variety of cars over the years, some of them quite good and very stylish. One that stands out is the Gremlin, and this particular blue Gremlin is identical to one that my dad had around 1975 or 76, and it was a special X edition with the Levi interior. And look at this, genuine denim upholstery in it. It was kind of a softer brush denim, but it even had the brass buttons that you'd have on Levi jeans built into the upholstery. All in all, it was a pretty cool car. We were kind of forced to get rid of it because my dad got tired of being pulled over by the police since we owned it right about the time of the Oakland County child killing cases and a blue gremlin had been mentioned as a suspect vehicle and were randomly pulled over quite frequently. The last AMC vehicle to be built under that nameplate was a 1988 Eagle SUV. This particular one shown right here in the picture. The last vehicle that actually had some AMC engineering and parts in it is 1992 Eagle Premier, which sold very few cars and is considered quite rare today. An interesting side note is that AMC had the first partnership with China to build cars in that country. Their first product to be rolled off the assembly line was this 1985 Beijing Jeep, kind of like a version of the Cherokee from what it looks to me. Well, we hope you enjoy this little tour of AMC history and the AMC building. Thanks for watching.